Hello folks, and it's been a while, like you know, enjoy the beard. Right, what we're going to have a look tonight is what came in that, and what's on the other side of that. So, first on up is something that, if you remember, I had one of these before in a slather form. Seconda. This is an automatic 2427 uh, movement, 18 mil lug. As you can see. The date pusher is a bit sticky, so I've got to take it apart. I take it back off and have a fiddle with that, like you know. And because I've run out of straps and bracelets and everything, I had to put it on this very loose um, expander, which was a bit of a nose. Keeps very good time. It arrived today from 2012 Sputnik, um, the eBay seller, and every single piece I've had from him has not arrived magnetized. Right, you know, so I don't have to demagnetize the stuff I get from him, whereas the others I tend to have to magnetize, demagnetize them. And look at that, that is flawless, isn't it? Uh, until I can get the date pusher like um, sorted out, like you know, obviously I've got to work on that. It's like if you look uh, just above the crown, it's not the pusher itself that's stuck, it's the little lever inside the case that's stuck. Uh, you know, it's a very nice. I, I like these slavers because it's a slab, right? Which means it's got the twin mainspring um, driven movement. And um, I was really, really disappointed with my slaver version of this, like uh, where the the seller had used like worn out parts. The hands kind of like disintegrated, like on the pedestals. And um, I discovered that he'd used a tiny drop of super glue to hold the second hand onto the spindle. Because that was loose as hell as well, like, you know, and it just fell to pieces, like, you know, I was so, I was so, so upset. Uh, you know, it's either me losing weight, because I am losing weight quite a lot. Um, my wrists, when I last had this on something else, it was quite tight, but on this one, which is about the same footprint, it's absolutely loose. <laughs> you know? I mean, I, I mean, if I get, do get stuck with keeping it on this, then um, I will uh, just take a couple of links out and like do it that way. But like, uh, I've just got off of eBay. I've just ordered from a seller I bought from before. I bought, don't know if you remember, like the gold brick um, 1970s rally straps. Well, I've bought uh, a pair of the silver versions of those. And I'm going to obviously have it on this one and have one on one of the pieces that is on its way. So there you go, a Slava 2427 automatic. Around the 90s, it's around the 1980s. Works beautifully, except for the fact that the date pusher lever inside is a bit sticky. Um, it's not a hard fix, it really is just like, you know, it's just got itself stuck in the closed position so next time you see it it'll be like you know hopefully it'll be all sorted and look at that yep absolutely spot on time 20 past 12 right let's go and have a look see what's in the big box right so as you know i like big watches and i cannot lie and i like big watches with canteen crowns as well This is TW Steel. Now the story is, is that Gruen took um, a looch, right, and stuck a canteen crown on it, and that's kind of like brought into like fray the modern um, canteen crown sort of light watches on like big 50 mil uh, cases. 
but TW Steel, like, you know, they followed on because they saw that there's quite a market for that sort of thing. Uh, it comes on a little leather. I mean, this isn't like, right, you know, leather out, this is leather. Right. Close that down there like that. Now, after this um, clip, there is. Um, I've got to take off the Seconda. Hello, Harry, got a Seconda. These are selling still for £365. No, uh, you know, from TW Steels. Now, unlike a lot of the other ones, this is made of steel. It is absolutely heavy and, you know, as a, as a, a lump of steel would be. You know, a lot of these modern, like, like, like my, um, what's it, um, megaliths, they're aluminium. They're not steel. This is pure, solid steel. Hence the name TW Steels. Now there's a clip after this of me changing the battery and the stuff, like you know, showing the insides of it. So I do stay and watch that. Uh, now my only criticism is the strap. The strap is not very strong. It's like the stitching seems to be like painted on in some parts, or it's just frayed. Uh, now I got this at a fraction of its resale price, let alone its re recommended price. So, you know, let's just say like, I pay 10% of its current book price, you know, and I am very pleased with that. And there's the, the start stop pusher, it's a high hand. And there's the bottom pusher, that's the reset pusher. Being stainless steel, the, um, the crown movement is absolutely gorgeous. There's the, the stem, which protects the watch um, innards from water going in through the stem. There's uh, it's 100 metres uh, waterproof. Uh, there's like um, double O rings on the pushers, and of course, that's protected by that. There's a very nice thick o-ring on the inside of the uh, case back and I don't know if you can st make that out but look at the look at the thickness of that crystal that is one solid plate of glass I don't think it's uh, I, I think this is um, hard lex. I don't think this is um, sapphire. I mean, you imagine a piece of sapphire to do that. Uh, it's quite a lot. But then again, Jaragard do it. Uh, you know. So there you go. Right. Let's show it in operation. Now, if you see at the bottom, there's perpetual seconds. Now, these are ticky seconds rather than the sweeping seconds. On the left register, you have got the um, minutes. And on the right, you have the 24-hour like um, dual time register. So you press the top button, and there goes the high hand at the top. That's the big second hand. Oh, I coughed. Oh no, I got COVID. Um, it doesn't have splits. It just resets. It does stop it. So you can stop, and it will stop. If you press it again, it'll start again, but there's no split. It won't catch up with itself. Just press the top button, or just press the bottom button, whichever way you want to do it, and around it goes. Now, there is no loom on this whatsoever. Black painted hands, no moons, and everything else. There's absolutely no illuminate, illumination on it at all. So, you know, you're not going to get it on these. Right. Which you think about it, for our friends on £65, right, you know, you'd expect something, right, you know, but as you can see, there's a signed um, crown keeper, TW. And if you look on the TW, 
and let's put her on. So here we are, like I'm just changing the battery for this, like it's got quite a nice um, spacer there. There's the movement, so you get to see what's inside the TW steel coronagraph. So I'll carry on and uh, there you go. See, I, I like watches like this because, you know, I don't mind doing a bit of work to make them work properly. The size of that monster. Uh, I mean, the strap needs some fixing, or I'm just going to buy a new strap for it. Like, you can buy TW, uh, authentic TW steel ones. Uh, you know, it's, oh yeah, it's got um, a signed buckle as well. If it gets around the bloody focusing, you get. Um, yeah. But I tell you what, holding it like that, I can actually feel the draw of the metal. You can actually feel the weight to it. And can you, I don't know if you can see the prism in. Look, how deep that glass is. I mean, that, that is like you know, that is pretty heavy. Now, of course, Zlatost, which is a Russian company, is the original Russian diver. And, of course, like, Invicta and TW Steels and some others, like, you know, they picked up... Even Al Seiko with an Alba did one of these with the canteen crowns. Um, the Zlatosts are very, very desirable. They're very expensive, and they are basically Vostoks in a very, very ornate, but very good diving case. And they're usually made of bronze. Uh, you, you get ones with grills over the front, and uh, you know, but you know, they're all much of the same. Like right? the same concept. I mean, yeah, whether or not it's the Grand Soviet or the Zlatos, right? Like, you know, that they will, like, you know, all, you know, they all share their common heritage. Now, Alba do a VX42 um, version, which the canteen crown is on the left-hand side. It's for like left left wearing people so you know it would be absolutely you look at that like you know like if that canteen crown was on the right hand side that would be like oh, i wouldn't be able to move my hand up without breaking like you know one of my hand bones so there you go that's the tw steel um chronograph i can't remember the particular model like you know i mean they are pretty much like you know i do believe this is the classic canteen range because uh, it's not CEO, because if it had CEO on it, it would be a CEO canteen, but it's not. So I imagine this is a classic canteen. I've seen this on their website, it's still there, it's still available. Uh, you know, I mean, I think there's better things you could probably buy with the money that you'd spend on one of these. But, you know, this is Holland's only watch that I know of they, uh, it's made it's made in Holland like it's a Dutch um, company TW Steel uh, you know there's a few things I've got to do I've got to polish out a couple of nicks on the bottom of the bezel I might even replace the bezel with one with like a tacking meter on it or something like that to give it a bit of bling I don't know you know I'm only going to have one of these I'm never I'm not going to buy another one like you know I've, I've got other things I'd rather buy so there you go. Remember to watch the next bit because it shows the insides of this, like you know, and uh, where I change the battery and get it working for the first time. So see you in the next bit. Hi, right, here we go. Gratuitous shot to give you some idea of just how bloody big this thing is. Uh, that's nearly as wide as my wrist. And I've got a fairly, I've got an eight centimetre plus wrist, like you know. Mm. I had to sell. There was no keepers on this at all. The keeper that wasn't attached to the buckle uh, end had gone, and there was no normal keeper either. So I had to salvage a keeper off another scrap. Uh, I'm going to look at this. I'm probably going to go to Mr. Law three eight nine on um, eBay and get a handmade one. I don't, I don't know whether I want to go in NATO or I want to go stay with this. 
But of course, it being a cream dial, like you know, it's an absolute bugger to get the right colour strap for. Because I don't think black suits it. I think more of a like a tan or a, like a medium, mediumish brown would look better, or even a dark brown. It's a 22 mil strap anyway. That's something I do know. Where it's 21.5 apparently. Like, you know, like, who cares in straps? Like, it's 0.5 like, millimeter is nothing. And of course, this lovely box. I mean, it's, it's you know, unfortunately there was no papers with it, which was a disappointment because, like, you know, I was expecting there to be something else with it, but unless it's hidden underneath, but it doesn't seem to be. But no, there's like a little pouch at the top there, and there's supposed to be something tucked into it, and there's not. Um, nope. There's nothing. So, there's no papers with it. There you go. But then, what do you want for like 30 something quid? Like, you know, for like, you know, a watch that is very sellable. You know, people will buy these because they are, you know, they are rated, you know, because, you know, that, the thing is, it's solid stainless steel. It's got um, a very, very good, it's got a, quite a good movement in it as well, like, you know, so I can't remember what it is. I don't know if it's an ETA. I think it might be an ETA. Um, is it an ETA or an ESA? It's one of, one of the, like, the really good Swiss movements. It's certainly not. It's not Seiko. Like it's not S I I L Seiko or Myota. So you know, I'm very pleased with that. Like, you know, and I mean, really, you can actually feel it. it's a palpable weight there. Like, you know, stick it on the end of your nap or something. So how is everybody doing with all this COVID stuff going on? You know, is it all right? You know, cheering you up and making you proud to be British. Uh, you know, big shout out to some of my new people on Twitter. Or you know, you can always follow me on Twitter. I'm on. My name is Dodgy Druid. I put it down below. Like, you know, Dodgy Druid. That comes from where I was. Um, what's it? A World Warcraft tank with my druid of the bear tank like you know and of course I, w I was extremely dodgy in other words I dodged blows and magic attacks and stuff like that hence the name dodgy Dru druid which was a bit well I don't know my first um what's it bear my first one was actually C was Kuru C-U-R-U like you know which is short for Kuro Thinway like you know which was like the principal What's it like, you know, like bad, spoiled boy went bad in Tolkien's universe. He, he was the one who started all the sedition and, like, you know, murder and everything else, like, you know. He was a pretty bad lad, like, you know, but he was a great craftsman and stuff. So, you know, I, I've done my good deed for the year, like, you know, like um, somebody in w, WS, like, you know, their boy wants a Russian watch, so I've sorted one out for him. Uh, you know, it's all within there with a few little surprises in that, like little extras. Because uh, he's absolutely fascinated with Russian watches, so I'm not going to give out any details who it is or anything like that. Because if I do that, like everyone's going, oh look, can I have a free watch? Uh, you know, well I mean, if you want a lady's watch, you can have as many as you like. I've got boxes of the bloody things, like you know, take them away. You know, I mean, at some point this week, I'm actually going to sit down with tweezers and pliers or whatever, and I am going to harvest all the ones that are in the other box. I'm just going to get all the movements out of it, all the crystals out of it and stuff, and just break them down for spares, because nobody wants them. And like a lot of them have got decent Mariota movements in, some of them have nice Seiko movements in, and they'll be useful elsewhere. And that's all the part about being a watch person, is that you scavenge and you hoard, and you know, you don't throw away anything, because like, you sit there and fix it, or you, you, you know, you just put it and break it for parts at a later date. Uh, you know, I mean, like, this um, bracelet, when I last wore it, it, because the link had gone in the back there, like, you know, it was it was terrible. And um, I sat there one evening and I just repaired it. And now it's, I mean, it's a bit sloppy. Well, it's not sloppy, but, you know, it's just that it needs links taken out. 
it's just a bit it's, it's really for something like you know it's, it's, I don't know why because like you know on the, on the other watch the, the Vostok like you know it was actually what like you know it was actually more so that would have been looser but it wasn't but it no longer slashes my wrist up so there you go there I've put all my projects away I've put all my stuff away i am got some bits and pieces going on I've got some nice stuff coming in I won a um, Pulsar um, very strange gold with um, what you call it um, like runes rhinestones like embedded into it like you know it's, it's like very blingy like you know and I, I, there's nothing wrong with it it's just that I think that you can't get the bracelet for it because it's got like a like a like a two pronged like gold and jeweled encrusted bracelet well if i could find a gold bracelet that fit it or something that i can you know make look like a gold bracelet then then it's a fix and it's another pulsar it's another one another chronograph it's what you know whatever else so you know i mean it's, it's been all go like you know i've got me um finger in a few pies like uh you know, I've, I've gone a bit like, you know, a bit crazy on eBay this last week. <laughs> like, you know. But, you know, I mean, I need bracelets. I, I need stuff. Like, you know, I, that's the thing. I've run out of straps. I've run out of bracelets. All I've got left is scrap. So there's no point in keeping them. So I'm going to, you know, put them into a box and put them somewhere so that, you know, I can go to them at a later date and sort them out. Like, you know. Right. I'm going to leave that with you, Lloyd. I'm going to leave you with your COVID. I'm going to have a quick tope of this. Right. Bit of disco light, then. Yeah. <laughs> right, um, if I was to buy this brand new, I wouldn't. I you know. I mean, uh, Aromatic, they make, um, What's it? They make something called a pork. Where well, it's nicknamed a porcupine. You know, it's not got four of these canteen crowns. Like you know, because like um, three. One covers the crown. One covers the pusher. One covers the pusher. And the ones on the left hand side are something for to rotate in the inner bezel. It might be five actually. And one is a helium release valve. Uh, you know, so like you know, and it does. It looks like a bloody, it, it, you know, it, it, it looks like a porcupine. It's, it's just like you know, all like one of those old like um, sea mines or something like that. You know, so um, that if I was to buy new, I'm glad I bought second hand because I can make this shine again, and it'll be part a treasured part of my collection. But I, I don't think I would have wasted any money on something new when there's something better to buy. You know, with canteen crowns, like you know, I mean, the the aromatic costs a third of the price of this. Right? And I, I, I mean, you know, but then again, I say that like it's got that huge, thick plate glass crystal. Uh, you know, I mean, it's that is real solid steel, which all the other ones, because of their size and cheapness, are made of aluminium. I mean, that that thing is not joking. You know, you, you slap somebody like that, the weight of it is probably going to like make your hand feel like, you know, a couple of pounds earlier. You know? This, another seconda in the pot. Like, you know, I'm, begin I'm beginning to get quite a lot of seconda, so I need to um, sort some stuff out. I've reached out to an incredible collector, an American living in Estonia. Uh, his collection makes mine look like the Oxfam shop on a bad day. Uh, you know, I mean, and all this stuff is pristine. It's absolutely like brand new, and that's the stuff he's got on display on his website. Like, and uh, I'll put a link down below. I mean, give him a mention, say hello, like spread the word and spread the love about him because he's a nice bloke. He's, he, you know, so and I mean, he's a Soviet collector like myself, and. Um, Another seconda, uh, you know. So as far as I'm concerned, like, you know, I would very much like to get all of the secondas now. I've decided, like, you know, and I've also found that the Pole Jot State uh, Fisheye or the Chaker Stadium, Bulova 
did something called a space view, which has the same oval um, shape of the thing. Well, you know, so I'm going to have to get one of those. And I found one. It's up for 60 quid, though. I mean, you know, it's a lot of money. But then it is an automatic, and it's like, you know, it's, it's a bulldozer, which is worth a hell of a lot more than, like, a bloody pole job. Well, in some people's like eyes. I, I like pole jobs, but, you know. Oh, Seconda. Double thumbs up. This. A thumbs up. I'll give it a one and a half thumbs up, like, you know, because to be honest, like, you know, well, I'll wait till like, I've done it, sorted its strap out, and I've taken the dings out, the bezel, and stuff like that. I mean, the actual watch itself is flawless. It really is flawless. It's just that that strap, I mean, I was expecting something a bit nicer, but then for the money, what do you, what do you expect? Jam on it, like, you know, and that's what's happening here. Like, you know. So, Seconda says goodnight. TW still said good night, and I say good night as well. Look after yourself. Yeah, Gary, like, you know, if you're still with me at the end, like, you know, I've been talking to um, a girl on Twitter, like, called Maz, like, she remembers you and, like, Sex Machine and all the others. Or, like, you know, her name, look her up on the Twitter called Maz Weller. Like, and give her, like, she was part of the Untouchables. So, like, you know, I think you'll know who that is. Anyway, Toodle Poopski in the next one. <laughs>